Hey, welcome back to another episode of my Rogue Tech campaign. The last episode, we tried to get our KF drive up and running, um, and we encountered a few problems. But on the way to the system here, it looks like um, we managed to rectify what that problem was. There was a huge structural vibration that we managed to get out of the fixed and out of the way. So it cost us a hundred grand, but I think we probably have that problem nipped in the bud. So the one thing we need to do today though is if we're going to do some pirating with the Argo and use the KF drive to jump back and forth between systems, what we're going to probably have to do is um, find some pirate points in the nearby planets to be able to do that. So we sent Animal down to the surface to poke around to see what he could find out and he's found that there's a local pirate organization um, that's right now um, in sort of conflict with the local government and with the Majesty of Canopus. So, um, but they've got a few dropships apparently. Now, they've, their dropships aren't here right now, but what we heard is that the leader of this particular pirate organization is on the planet right now. So we've got a couple of small areas where we've picked up information where the pirates might be. So we're gonna drop both of our lances on the planet. Uh, at the same time and basically attack these pirate groups in both areas at the same time. So the main lance is going to be hitting a group uh, first in this episode and then the next episode, well it depends, if this one goes really fast we'll be able to show you the second group's attack but um, yeah so we're going to drop to the planet and engage these guys and I'll see you when we get down there. Alright here we go, they've got to be here somewhere Looks like they're near a base over here. We kind of caught them by surprise. I don't think they were expecting us to get here. So I'm just going to reserve back. And let's see if we can get in to see these guys and get some damage going on these guys before they get a chance to respond. So I'll move forward here. I'm going to move the Warhammer forward first. So it looks like they got reinforcements too here somewhere. Don't see any, but it looks like just these guys here. So what do we got here? Thunderbolt, 50 tonner, 60, and a 70. So we got some good opposition. So it doesn't look like these guys are that well heavily armed. So they are pirates after all. So unfortunately we can't shoot for this guy's head, but we are going to fire everything on him. Yep, totally cut that guy off guard. Alright, let's see what they do here. Yeah, he's going to have to move first. Please fire, though. Thank you. Okay, good. So we got a chance to put some more real damage on this guy. And I think what I want to do now is... Commander? Let's see if we can get in with Flatliner and unload on him. Is he within range? He's in missile range, which is good. So it's dead fire range. So let's punish this guy big time. Here comes the missiles. Goodbye. Next destroyed. I don't see any leader around here though. Oh, there's another guy over here. 70 tonner. Alright, so we want to make sure that we don't engage those guys with it right away. So we're going to pull back away from the, uh, the edge there. Ooh, quick draw with almost no armor. So, hmm. We could use some quick draw parts, that's for sure. Hunchback, short range version. So the quick draw is definitely so far the next target. What's this 70 tonner here? A whole lot of nothing. Okay. How's it going? Bane Skater, let's get you up here. Gonna be able to see both those guys, but we're gonna target the uh, quick draw. We want to take him down first. He's got eh, not a lot, mostly medium lasers, but he looks like he's relatively easy to kill. So we're gonna fire everything on him. Oh come on, man! I don't know whether it's the weapons or the Mac. Maybe I should get him firing missile weapons or something because he's just not performing at all. Okay, let's get Hayden. And we'll fire everything. Nice. Yeah, he's got like no armor, so he's going to go down fast. 
I don't think he does. So a 75 tonner. With LRMs. Okay. Alrighty. So let's first get some punishment on this hunchback before he goes. Gonna move in, we're gonna blast this guy. There's another guy back there, it looks like. Okay, so what's this guy? Another 75 tonner. So they got a lot of guys here. Looks like this is probably the pirate base. I want you on that hunchback, please. He's not firing, but we want him gone. So let's fire everything at him. Okay. Waiting for order. Let's get you up here. I think you can probably take out this guy. If we hit with the uh, Gauss rifle, but what's the chance of that? I don't know. Roger. Did that do it? Yep. Okay. Looks like a cataract back here. Bad guy down. Yep. So it looks like the reinforcements, there's... That was one of the reinforcements? One of these guys was. So this must be the main lance unit guy. And then... So we've got a... There's another mech that we haven't seen yet. There's supposed to be eight, it looks like. Okay. Ready for Fair enough. That's, um... Can we actually straight out target that guy down there? can but I'm thinking the hunchback is priority first because he's been damaged a lot already we can take him out with this with these shots let's do that I'm not gonna multi-target I want to make sure we kill them okay so that guy's gone this is a turkey shoot of course now that I said that I'll probably get a headshot against me okay where are they going here Cataphrac coming up. Yeah, good luck hitting that Wolverine. So I don't know if there's anything we want to keep here. Orion. VA. So it's the regular Orion. So we do have Orion parts. We've got regular Orion parts and command Orion parts. This guy's really, really... Uh, He doesn't have the... Com he's just the regular Orion. AC-10. Okay. Um, Standing by. Well, since they can't move until after we go, question is, how close do I want to get to these guys? And the answer, not very. So this guy is pretty tough to hit. But we can get this guy pretty good. So let's do this. I am the wind. I'm going to come up here. Dead fire this guy down here. And we'll fire everything. Okay, is he unstable? Yep. Okay, good. So here comes that guy. Another missile. There's another missile boat. I don't know what that guy would be, though. Not that it matters. They're not really hitting that well anyway. Okay, Vane Skater, I want to see if we can get you to kill the Cataract. If we hit with the Gauss Rifle, it's probably a good chance we can kill him. But we'll see. Let's just fire everything. Copy that. Alright, you got a lot more armor than I thought you had. Do we get... Oh, he's got one point left in the arm. Torso's damaged, legs really badly damaged. So height, uh, I guess you're going to have to finish it up. Copy that, Commander. So I'm moving height in in front of these two guys. Hopefully the Orion will target him before anybody else. He's got more evasion, so it's harder to hit. So let's fire this guy. Hopefully we will be able to take this guy down. Left arm destroyed. That hit something good. Knockdown. 
Injury ignored. Okay, so we got a choice now. We can either target that guy again. Mm, they got good range. Or we can hit the Orion. I think probably blasting that Orion might be the better of the two choices with this guy because Ground Zero's got a really good chance to hit with most things. The other thing was we could multi-target. Let's do that. We're going to multi-target here and here. And we're going to put the Pulse and the LRM-20s on B. And we're going to fire the PPCs at A. Oh, 70% chance and he misses with both. Wow. Leg, torso destroyed. Here comes the missiles. Another head hit. Yikes. He's not having a good day. Another 70 tenner coming up. They're missing one mech here somewhere. Oh, he is deciding to melee, but it looks like he's going after... Yes. Missile boat. 109 damage. Yow. Under heavy fire. I wonder if that was a CT hit. Damn, we should have killed that guy when we had the chance. So he goes on turn 4, so that's an Orion with a command module. So we are going to target that guy. Okay, Vane Skater first. Um, let's go here. And we're going to shoot Monsieur Orion straight in the back. Let's see how you like this. There goes his leg, and he's going down. Think I hit something good? You did. Ba-doom. Alright, so. Come height. On. Let's get you. I think we want to keep you back here. Affirmative, Just going to move back and we're going to dump our missiles on this guy. So we've got a little bit less torso internal. So let's go for the torso shot on this guy. Here we go. And there goes that guy. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's see what they do. Oof, he's hanging on. Alright, Flatliner. Yes, Where did you get hit? He punched you in the arm. Which has got the LRM-15 triple plus with 18 left. That's the left side. So we need to spin around to the right side here. So we're going to move back here. Going to turn to the right. Rolling. And we're going to force use of vigilance on this guy. And then we're going to attack here with the missiles. I'm gonna fire everything. Right. Bye bye. Down. So their main group is down. They got three guys left. So I don't know where the third guy would be though. Is he just back further here? He hasn't, no one's moved. I wonder if he's off the map board somewhere. What's up, um, I'm gonna move up here. Get behind the rocks. So there's another guy back there. There he is. Another 70 tonner. One, two 70s, and a 75. So I'm wondering if that, this mech here, the 75 ton mech, is actually the pirate commander. Alright, so, height, you're first. Let's see if we can get some eyes on. We can't. Not anywhere close. So, maybe we just reserve. Let's just reserve and see what they do. Affirmative, Commander. So that's the 70 tonner. Let's see if we can get these guys to come up. We're just going to reserve again. Waiting for the shot. Nope. But... 
Do I wait a turn before firing? Commander. I could use Vigilance. We're going to sprint over here. All in ass. And then we're going to shoot. We don't want to kill the commander yet. He's the DC guy. Warhammer. Yeesh. Look at that. Nice loadout. Another cataract. Rocket launcher. Ultra 10 autocannon. He's closer. What's the 64% chance? Much better chance to hit this guy back here. So we're going to fire straight on him. Maybe we can take him down. There goes the arm. Double heatsink destroyed. So he's going to have some problems. Okay, so uh, let's get height first. It's always it's going to be indirect fire for everything, I think. So we're going to get him down here. And I think what we'll do is we'll shoot on the Warhammer again. Just to see if we can get anything on this guy. Alright, I was kind of hoping for a head hit, but can't always get that. Uh, we can move straight up here. Copy that. And we're going to fire straight in the Warhammer again. Let's hope we hit with the Gauss Rifle. Ah, a couple of uh, medium pulse laser hits. Crit to the fusion core. Cool. Solid connection on that one. Now, Flatliner's tricky. we got to make sure he's in a position where if they come up, they're not going to be hitting him. So let's do this. Keep that arm protected. Let's fire on this guy. It's a really low chance to hit, but we got lots of missiles still. We might get lucky and get a head hit. A couple hits, three hits, not bad. Okay, let's see what they're doing here. He's moving back. So maybe that is the leader. Yikes. Okay, that was 39 damage. What did he hit me with? AC 10 with 39 damage? Uh, it's nothing like a pirate AC-10. I don't know. Alright, we all go first. So, let's deal a killing blow with Vainskater. Do we sprint or we walk? We walk. I'm going to walk it over here. I'm going to use Vainskater on the Warhammer first. I want to try and deal a killing blow to this guy. Come on, buddy. you got to hit with the... Ugh. Alright, that heavy Gauss rifle is failing, like, r ridiculously here. Okay, Wolverine. Let the Wolverine take care of the Warhammer. Fire everything. There we go. So he's gone. Now, ground zero. Let's move it back to... We sprint. Let's just walk back to here. We're going to go against the side torso of the cataract. I want the the Orion to shoot the Warhammer because he's got the most armor. We're going to fire straight in the side of this guy. What is up with the PPC misses? Come on, buddy. Okay, AC-10 Ultra Crit. We're going to move down again. Get a little closer, get a better chance to hit. Gonna fire the missiles off. Slightly better chance to hit. Ooh! Pain for him. And one left. So he's gonna go and then we all go, pretty much. So let's see what he's gonna do here. Backing up. I don't blame him. Okay, so we have enough resolve left for some uh, precision strikes so um, the great thing about this raid too we're just going to reserve the great thing about this raid is still up until this point in the series uh, we've been kind of a slave to whatever we can just grab but because we're full pirates now um, we're not beholden to anybody so we get like full salvage off everything now so we're going to go after the leg I'm only going to use one PPC though uh, I just fire I don't want to kill this guy. That should take the leg. Yeah, there we go. 
Okay, so we'll knock him down. And then I want to use Vein Skater. We're going to walk down. On my way. And I'm going to leave the Gauss Rifle off. We're going to target him again. We're going after the second leg now. And firing. I want to try very hard not to destroy him. Okay, so what are we at here? Leg is down to eight. So I think if we just walk in order, height to here and just fire the medium lasers against this, we should be able to take him down. There we go. Boom. And that's it. So, I think that may have been the commander. We'll find out shortly anyway. Alright, so out of the base we were able to loot 372,000 worth of stuff, which is awesome. And we gained a little bit of bonus with the Magistrate Canopus for removing some of the pirates from their area. Uh, drop cost for 90,000. So overall pretty good with the exception of the pen on the internal uh, structure of the arm of the trebuchet. We turned out, turns, everything turned out to be really well. That's why I want to re replace this trebuchet with a, uh, a, cat a catapult so we can um, increase the armor on them. So it looks like we got an Orion DC parts here. So I think probably because we have the ability to loot the battlefield now I think we're going to steal some of those parts. I don't think there's really anything else. Maybe down here there might be something. Oh, the command cockpit. Okay, I'm taking that for sure. Hate to say that, but we definitely need to take that. Um, is it better to take guaranteed Orion DC part? Let's do that. Let's strip the part. I want to. I mean, I was thinking about taking the um, the exchanger, but I think I'll take the this uh, part and let's confirm this. So we're able to strip a thunderbolt part. Uh, we blew stuff up really good. But this command cockpit, that's great. We're going to be dropping this straight into the. Um, oh, it's six tons though. Yikes. We should put this in the warhammer. But uh, we're going to go with this and uh, just continue. All right, great, 37,000 in repairs, that's not very much. Excellent, so let's go and check out how our uh, second lance is doing. Um, please click here to uh, go to our second lance's battle. We're gonna end this particular episode and go to the second episode for the second battle. So yeah, if you like the uh, video, please drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please, please feel free to subscribe and we'll see you in the next battle.